Okay, so let's switch gears. Let's talk about um, something that happened over, yeah, over the weekend, last weekend, um, with uh, with some confusion. Let's just say little little confusion around around uh, smart lock on Chrome OS. Yeah, um, and it's worth talking about just because there's there are still I'm I'm still seeing articles out there um, that are reporting on this as if it's still a thing, and it is not. Yeah, um, and it's I thought about that the other day. I, I don't want to think like, well, you know, are you all not reading our stuff? We're not some ginormous news outlet. But at the same time, I feel like most tech blogs at least look to us if they're trying to research any type of information. It yeah. feels like this article is getting published just as a regurgitation. No one's bothering to fact check anything. And they're just they're writing it because they saw it and it seems like a sensationalized thing. So they're like, Oh, well, we need to write this because yeah, Google, Google's about. killing something that's yeah. usually called. And to, that's just not the case. Yeah. Um, so let's say so what it is. It looks like I'm yeah. starting to see some, eh, some people are updating their thing, but yeah, yeah, that smart lock that has been around on Chromebooks for a long, long time, uh, was being discontinued. And to be fair, you know, uh, Denson at Chrome story, wrote this up and looking at the commit initially, that's what it looked like. And I was like, there's just no way that doesn't make any sense. And we kept looking and kept digging and I didn't want to put out an article. Like we reached out to him and said, Hey, look, you know, I, we don't want to put out something that is trying to like, you know, make you look bad or anything like that. Sure. We're actively researching, trying to figure out what's going on here because I really don't feel like that's the case. There's just no way that that makes any sense. And, um, so we wanted to let him know that beforehand. Um, and we had found quite a few things that pointed to the fact that that probably wasn't the case, but we just didn't have like, there it is. Yeah, there's, concrete. there's, there's the concrete thing. It was a bunch of like, well, if you think about this and you look at that and you know, you add that to this, then it seems like, you know, like, and I don't want to write an article that's saying, Hey, this is probably wrong. Here's why. Um, uh, Kyle at nine to five, uh, Kyle Bradshaw was able to kind of piece it together right about the same time as, cause I just sometimes I forget in all this, like we have a really responsive Google rep. And so I was like, well, I'll just ask him like, what, what's going on? And so he got back with us right about the same time Kyle had published his, his article kind of piecing all this stuff together. And it was like, I linked to Kyle's article cause you know, good job. You, yeah. You did some good research, this. Yep. But also we just talked straight to Google and Google said, no, that's not what's happening. Like it's, it's being replaced with, uh, just a different version. So basically mm -hmm. The, the ability to unlock your Chromebook and sign into your Chromebook both. So like say you, you turned the thing off and turned it back on and you're not signed in anymore. Uh, that used to be handled with Smart Lock and very poorly. Um, it, it generally didn't work and sometimes it did, but you know you could open up a Chromebook and sometimes it'd be like, hey, unlock your phone yeah. and you'd unlock it and you'd touch your profile and it'd it just was, sit there. Yeah. Yeah. For um, me, more often than not, it was, I mean, I have a relatively long password. It was about halfway through my password. Pop if up, it did come yeah, on, sometimes it doesn't come on yeah. at all, but it's like you sit there and you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait. And then you're like, fine, I'll type my password and you start <laughs> typing. <laughs> no, it's I'm like, gonna, Hey, I'm, I'm going to turn it. green now. Like, <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay. and it was, it's hit or miss on both the login and Chrome unlocking <laughs> stuff. It was just, it's always been kind of crummy, but in our Chrome OS 98, uh, video we did, we, we showed like, Hey, there's a flag for a revamped version of this and it was working okay back then it's working really well right now you yeah. can turn it on even in stable uh and it's super fast but they've removed the the whole login part of it so it's not looking for that anymore this is just an unlock feature so just like the fingerprint scanner would be on a chromebook like the cx9 if you have turned the thing off and you're logged out the fingerprint won't log you in uh, you have to log in first and then you can start using biometric stuff to get in. Same thing on your Android phone. If you turn your Android phone off and turn it back on, you're going to have to put your pattern or your pin or something in first, which I don't know how that's more secure than biometrics, but whatever. Uh, that's how it works. Um, and so that's kind of generally the case with most things that have biometric support. And maybe that's, I don't know, in case you've been logged out, it keeps you, like if somebody's knocked you out, like, they can't just log in with your fingerprint. They're going to have to know some personal information. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Perhaps that's why. I don't know. But that's what they're moving to with this. So just like the fingerprint does right now on Chromebooks, uh, you'll actually see the, if you watch that video, uh, Chrome OS 98, um, you'll you'll actually see the, the, the thing in motion. And it's right there where the fingerprint scanner is. And so they'll be side by side if you have both. And if not, they'll, you know, it'll just be the, you know, unlock your phone. It works super fast. All they were getting rid of is the login feature.
feature, the, the login to your Chromebook feature is going away. And so they're like, hey, we're getting rid of this feature. Therefore, get rid of all this stuff. And so it did read like they were getting rid of the smart lock feature. They're not. They're getting rid of the sign in part of the smart lock feature. And so it was a little confusing. Yeah. And then, you know, it's so funny. Like certain things will will go out and it's like people are like, eh, I don't know if that's true or not. And we've had this happen before, too, where we've put out news and it was wrong. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, we had to issue an update. And those articles, it just never seems to fail. You put something out and you're like, ooh, that wasn't right. And it just blows up yeah. for no good reason. And and that's kind of what happened with this one. Like, we haven't seen a story from Chrome Story kind of go decently viral in a little while. And that one did. And it, I hated it that, you know, we knew, like, that this isn't right. Right. You know, it's, it's good. You're, everyone's going to have to go back and update. Everyone's going to be like, oh, see, you don't know what he's talking like about. Like the great... Yeah. 